Hi garden friends. I am here with Miss Jessica in the school garden and we are going to go on a parts of a plant we eat hunt. So I have this chart with me so that I can remember and make sure I get all six parts. Um, if you want to just jot it down or you can bring your science notebook wherever you go on your hunt. So I'm going to be in the garden. If you have a garden at home, that's a great place. If you are able to, if your adult's able to bring you to the school garden, you are welcome to come to your plant parts hunt here. If a garden's not really accessible to you, you can do this in your kitchen. Or if you are able to go to the grocery store with one of your adults, you can just do the hunt in the grocery store because they will have all of these parts. So whatever way works for you is great. I'm just doing it in the school garden because I know you all love to see the garden. And I thought it would be really fun to see which of these parts are growing here. So first up, I wanted to show you the broccoli. The broccoli that we have growing right here, this is the flower of the plant. And that's the part that we eat. Now, particularly um, if you get the baby broccoli that's young like this, we also eat the stalk of the broccoli. The main part that we think of of broccoli and of cauliflower um, that we eat is the flower. So that's kind of a fun thing. You can let your adults know, hey, did you know we eat the flower of the broccoli? So, um, let's see, as I walk through the garden, I'm going to find... Gosh, everything is growing so well. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Oh, nice. So here's a fruit that we eat. So the tomato is the fruit of the plant. Now these are green and they're supposed to be red. This particular variety is a red tomato, so it's not ready for me to eat it yet. But that is the fruit. And right next to it, we have tomatillos. And the tomatillos that we eat, those are also the fruit of the plant. What? Something's Ooh. eating those leaves. I know. <laughs> our, our tomatillo, unfortunately, did not um, those leaves. thrive oh this year. God. And I'm not totally sure Something why. Something is eating that. It, it has struggled. Um, they really did well last year over in that area. So I think maybe, maybe they just didn't get as much sun here. <laughs> so... Um, you might think seeds would be hard to find, but you know, in our garden, we grow sunflowers. And so, if I look under the petals, there's, oop, I broke it off. There's the sunflower seeds. Now, I could just eat those raw if I wanted, but if you were to um, buy sunflower seeds for eating, at the store, they've probably been roasted and salted because putting a little bit of butter and salt on them, that makes everything taste good, right? I, I saw birds up here um, yes. a few days ago. Yes, the birds love them and that's why we leave a lot of our sunflowers even after the bloom is gone because the birds will happily munch on those seeds. Um, some more seeds that we could eat. If I were to come over here to this pumpkin, a pumpkin's kind of a dual purpose, right? So our pumpkin, we would eat the fruit of the pumpkin, but also, if you haven't had the experience, I think it's pretty common everyone's carved a pumpkin, right? Inside the pumpkin are those, we call them pumpkin guts. It's all the sticky, gooey parts of the inner pumpkin plus all the seeds. And you, um, I don't think pumpkin seeds taste very good raw, but again, if you roast them in either some oil or butter and put some salt on them or all kinds of seasonings, I know people like to put garlic and chili pepper on them. Um, they are a really yummy treats. So next to our pumpkin, we have some onions. Now you can eat the green part of the onion. So that would be the stem part, but also the main part of the onion that we eat, I'm gonna pull this guy out. Look. This is under the ground, and so the onion that we eat is the root. We probably don't normally eat these pieces, but they probably are edible if you give it a good washing, right? And next to our onion, we have a nice charred plant right here. It's kind of a big, a venerable charred plant. But these green leaves, oh, look at these tender leaves would be perfect. Oh, look at the little insect on me. <laughs> 
<laughs> these would be perfect for a salad and the bigger charred leaves go nice if you slice them up um, with some onions and saute them in olive oil so there's an example of our leaves let's see oh i think i i think i got them all we have um, pumpkin seeds or uh, sunflower seeds we have an onion for a root uh, we have a broccoli stem or we don't have it growing here but celery and asparagus are also great so if you're hunting at the grocery store or in your refrigerator you can find celery or asparagus as a stem and then leaves we have chard oh my gosh i just realized something the pumpkin yes. could be both the yeah the pumpkin would be the fruit yeah and the both. seeds I right i just realized that yeah very cool and then we have broccoli for flowers um cauliflower we also that's the flower um, if we, let's see, if we go back in the corner, I can show you the nasturtium flower that we actually eat the pretty blooming flower. Oh, the garden is doing so well. And the beans are oh, ripening the, up. Are amazing Look at these beautiful cosmos. Oh, know, so cosmos nice. Are so tall. Aren't they great? I've been waiting for them to bloom. I saw goldfinches on top of the cosmos one time when I was in the garden. Look at the beans, everybody. <gasps> Look at these. Yeah, so, so that, wow. plant, that part of the plant would be mm -hmm. the fruit because we're going to eat the pod and the beans that are inside. Or if you wanted to use them as dry beans, you would let the pod dry and then you would be eating the seeds. Mm -hmm. But right back here, we have this beautiful nasturtium that's really oh. happy in the shade. And if we wanted to eat this flower, you can also eat the leaves. The flower. Um, is a nasturtium flower that we can just eat. This is used a lot in cake decorating. These are doing great. So if you haven't tasted nasturtium and you are able to come to school, be sure and pick. You can pick one leaf of the nasturtium or one flower and give it a taste. It tastes a little bit peppery. Well, we found all of the parts of our plants in our school garden. I hope you have fun doing a parts of the plant hunt in your kitchen or grocery store or your garden, wherever you can hunt. Also, I have sort of a bonus challenge idea for you. If you really want to get into this parts of a plant, I'd like you to think about maybe you can create a recipe that includes all six parts of the plant in your recipe. So maybe you can think of a salad where you can combine all the parts or um, maybe an entree any, uh, or a, an appetizer. We've got fancy cooking words on you here, right? But just think about what, what types of foods might combine nicely. And if you have a recipe, share it with your teacher or you can share it on the Garden Google form when you fill that out, okay? Thanks, garden friends.